Uh, Hinton Mill started in 1918. Uh, my great grandfather, Frank L. Hinton, started our business. But to tell you about our business, I think you need to little, know a little bit about his backstory. So, uh, my great grandfather, he was an orphan at the age of nine, just had a third grade education. Uh, most of his education came from uh, just the, the, I guess, from life. And uh, his first business as a 12-year-old, he was raising bottle calves and trading animal furs. Uh, probably the first calf that he got, somebody felt sorry for little orphan Frank and gave him a calf. And one calf turns into a second calf, and next thing you know, he's a little entrepreneur. But later in life, he met my uh, great-grandmother. A lot of the advice that I give people in life is to marry up in life, and uh, he did. He, he married my great-grandmother, who I met. She lived to be 107 and uh, got to know well. She passed away when I was in college, but um, they started the business just out of a need to be able to serve their, their neighbors, uh, other area farmers. They were cattle farmers them, themselves, and so a uh, hundred years later, here we are. I think we've been in, uh, you know, affected the community uh, in a lot of ways that we've been able to. One of the ways that I think about this is when our great-grandfather started our business, it was he and my grandma and uh, it was just the two of them, but over time they hired another person and one person turned into two and now, um, you know, we've got 50 employees and five locations and you think about all those different employees all the years, over all the years, so whether they work for two weeks or they work for uh, 40 years like Mars Newman or 50 years like Bill Cooper, um, they were able to impact people that way, but maybe more importantly, not just the people that we've employed, the people that we've served. When you think about all the people that have come through the doors of one of our stores or one of our trucks has went out to their farms, we've been able to uh, make those, hopefully make those people's lives more profitable. One of the things that has always stood out to me is my dad has always said that we're not profitable if our customers aren't profitable. So I think that's probably one of the ways that we've most impacted the, the agriculture community and in this area and throughout the state is just hopefully being able to provide them the services and materials that they need to be profitable in their businesses. I started in my teens uh, following dad around the stores, uh, would load feed, go on deliveries, that type of thing. My role evolved over time and today I do a lot of things in the back office, do a little bit of everything uh, both over time and a little bit of everything now. As members of the community ourselves, we, w we want to make the community a better place and if we don't do it, who will is usually the approach. So when we see the opportunity to be involved in making the community a better place, that's what we want to do because our kids are growing up in that community, our family is living in that community, and, and uh, our coworkers and um, friends are living in that community. So uh, it's our opportunity to make uh, a better place for our kids and for our, our friends and family and coworkers uh, to live. I think that the best thing about being part of the Hinton Mills team is uh, the people that I work with. Um, as we've talked about earlier, the, uh, a lot of people I've known since I was little and uh, have either grown up with them or have been around them for most of my life and um, it's just great to continue to be a part of that. They're, they're great people to be around. Uh, I really just enjoy the people I work with. Started out doing just uh, whatever, it, well, still do whatever it takes uh, on a daily basis. But uh, started out mainly just uh, bagging feed or loading trucks or uh, all that kind of stuff, going on deliveries. Still do all that on occasion. A little less of that. Uh, more office work now. There's there's no place like home. You know, you know we live here in God's country and and uh, didn't really ever want to be anywhere else. And, Seen a lot of places in the world. There's nowhere like uh, there's nowhere like Kentucky. So, so I knew I wanted to stay around here, and I knew I already had a job waiting. So, a lot of the employees feel like everybody's family, and a lot of the customers feel like their family. I mean, that's just I think that's how everybody's kind of treated as as though they're family, whether it's a customer, employee, or or family, actual family. They're just treated like family, and they my my children do a much better job than I ever did. Uh, we, uh, I, I hope to continue to be able to work for several more years, but uh, we uh, couldn't be in better hands. 
Uh, it's just a blessing that they have uh, taken an interest in this. And uh, like I say, they're better educated. Uh, they uh, uh, are just a, a lot better positioned than I was when I came to work here. Paula and I are very proud of, uh, of, of our children. Uh, I think that I can give her the credit for uh, their successes. They, they've all got uh, good educations, good morals, and uh, good work, work ethics. Uh, they are uh, uh, very much a part of the community. And uh, like I say, we uh, couldn't be prouder of them. That uh, they've got a heritage uh, that they've, they've got to live up to, and I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about my grandfather, my father, and uh, their, uh, their great-grandparents, and I, I think that uh, they do have uh, a uh, uh, history uh, of, uh, of doing good, and I think they've, they've already have made an impact on the county. Now, looking back over the years, the people that we looked up to as growing up and the people that were our role models were Hinton Mills team members. It was, you know, the people that we served over the years were, were our role models as well. You know, we, we feel fortunate to be in the communities that we're in and to serve the people that we serve each day. And if we can continue to stick with the, the things that brought us here and stay focused on those things, faith, family, friends, and farming, I think that, you know, Hinton Mills Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to continue to serve you for the next hundred years. So we just want to say thank you for the opportunity, and uh, it's, it's a real honor for us to get to continue to serve you.